Hey there, this is Vanessa D. Berlain. Today, we are going to go over six tips that will help you be more successful with your affiliate marketing program. Now, for those of you that don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's when you see people online or in their blogs and all over the place promoting uh, somebody else's product. And you're thinking, why is so-and-so, my friend, promoting uh, coffee or something like that um, because they're probably promoting it they're going to do a review about it and then they have an affiliate link so if you purchase it through the link that they provide they're making a, a little bit of a commission depending on what they're selling so an affiliate marketer is like the middleman they are the one in between the buyer and the seller the seller says hey i've got this product i want to sell but i need help i want to do it without running ads and things like that i want to use word of mouth because that's the best way to get people to buy you buy from your friends or from what they say you don't just go look at an ad on a billboard and go oh i think i'll buy that you might see it and be exposed to it but it's when your friend comes to you and says I've been using that and I really like it. And you're like, oh, okay, well, I think I'll try it. And that's kind of who you are. You're the friend. You're that person that says, hey, this is something I would recommend. And then they buy it and you get a little bit of a commission for doing that. So it's a really pretty cool uh, marketing strategy. It's a very easy business to start if you haven't started one. And you can create an affiliate marketing business in so many levels, so a little beginner level. You know, you can, you can blow it into a full-time job. It just depends on where you want to go with it. So I'm just going to give you six tips that are going to help you make your business better from where you're at or you can or for those of you that are starting a new business, it will all apply. Number one in my tips is share something you're passionate about. Do not um, try to sell. I, I just saw a, a, a website. They're selling drones. I have no interest in drones. I think they're pretty cool, but I have no interest in them. I don't want to go outside and hit a little remote control and fly little drones around. I just have no interest. Um, even if you told me I could make $5,000 per drone, I don't care. I have no interest. And you probably would be able to see that as I'm talking about it. There's other things I can sell that I have more interest. So when you choose a niche, or you choose a product line um, that you want to promote, make sure you're passionate about it or at least like it. Um, passion works better. So let's use the idea of camping. Did you know you can take a hobby that you have and turn it into a business? And we're going to use the, the example of camping. Camping. You love to go camping. You love to bring your family. You get very excited. You're very passionate. It's something you love to do all your life. Start a YouTube channel and start talking about camping. And how does that turn into affiliate marketing? Well, your niche would be camping and camping with your family maybe, or maybe you're single and you wanna talk about camping by yourself and, and how to um, take it up to an extreme level, whatever that is. But we're into camping. Now, how does that work with affiliate marketing? Well, you could start putting products on your YouTube channel or on your blog that you created about camping. And every time you talk about different things, you can put the affiliate links in there and that will help you make revenue and that's how it works in a nutshell okay so we're going to stick with camping today because it you can go in so many directions with it um you all now you're probably thinking well where do i get those links there are other videos about it i've got a whole um uh, playlist about YouTube and how to use the links and things like that that I'll share at the end but basically you go to Amazon and Amazon has an, uh, an affiliate uh, Amazon associate program Amazon associates program Google it and you go in and you can apply and then you have access to everything on Amazon and that's where you get your affiliate links again I'm not going to go into detail but you can look that up and figure it out number two you want to make sure that you brand your message. You wanna brand yourself. Now, I talk um, maybe about making uh, money with side hustles and things like that, but my brand is how to start an affiliate marketing business. That's what I am basically primarily all about. Sure, I can go off on tangents here and there and talk about other things, but if you are looking to find out about affiliate marketing, then you'll come to my channel. You will not hear me talking about e-commerce or Shopify, and maybe that's the same thing, I don't even know, or things like that, because I have, I've never done any of that, and I don't have an interest in that. I have an interest in affiliate marketing. And so you wanna brand yourself. If you're gonna talk about camping, and that's the thing that you do, then stick with it. Don't start talking about, um, how can we get off on a tangent? Don't start talking about how to build a chicken coop, <laughs> even though you have a little farm and you build chicken coops. Don't 
integrate that into your channel you would want to start a whole nother channel and i have seen people i saw one guy that had six different channels and each one was a different topic and hey he had it all separated and whatever topic you were interested in you could go in and pick it if you want to put that much work out there go for it but make sure you stay within your niche now maybe you like to ride motorcycles and you take your motorcycle with you when you go camping then by all means you could talk about that but you're not going to do a whole you know year talking about harley motorcycles when you're really talking about camping but you could mention that you love harley and you could mention how you take it camping and, and then that all connects so make sure you are very consistent in your brand and in your messaging about who you are and that will help you increase uh, have more success on your channel now i say channel you don't have to have a youtube channel i just happen to use youtube and you're going to hear me say that but let me give you a disclaimer you can have an affiliate marketing business without a youtube channel you could run your um home page on your website and run everything through a blog or like something like that but you'll hear me say youtube because that's how i do it okay number three now you hear me talking about tents and sleeping bags and things like that um like here here's an example um what if you wanted to uh, somebody googled where is the best places to camp in the usa that's something that campers in your niche would be looking for right and you're thinking well how does that have to what's that have to do with my equipment like i want to talk about sleeping bags and lanterns and cook stoves and pop-up campers and things like that well you could go off with within your niche and help them find the best place to camp now as an affiliate you could get in with a travel agency and push promote some little trips that they might have and you might only promote camping places in the united states that are near some major tourist places and that way you can talk about how you could bring your family to disney world and camp while you're there and get a little affiliate commission from the travel agency and the reason i'm sharing that is because within your niche you want to find some high ticket items that correlate with what you are promoting your message and who you are and within your industry that would be perfect if you were camping um high ticket so let's say you got a commission for booking somebody on that trip another high commission ticket for camping might be you're going to promote some great mobile homes that people could buy find a company that has a commission or an affiliate program or an affiliate partners program um, just check around they're out there this is it, this is becoming very big for a lot of retailers you see Walmart has an affiliate program in Target and they promote they allow you to promote their items online and give you a commission you're saving them money in ads um, and ads and things like that and ads can get pretty costly when when they're using you you're out there talking about it and if you don't make a sale they just got free advertising from you because you might make 10 videos about this great mobile home that you really love and enjoy and you're passionate about but maybe nobody ever hits your link and you've got maybe 15 videos out there about it or you know 20 articles and different you know ways of talking about it they just got free advertising and you they don't pay you until you make a sale so it's it's a win-win-win situation honestly um so don't you know undercut that all right let's go to number four I love this one and again we're going to stick with camping because I want you to keep that mindset because we're going to be consistent throughout the messaging in this video but number four is solve searchable problems and you're thinking well what kind of problems would a camper have I just typed in what to do when it's raining and you're camping I mean I already know what to do because I've camped but everybody doesn't know what to do you've got to remember just because you're an expert sometimes and I know we all do this you're an expert you love to camp you camped all your life it's just part of who you are and you can't imagine somebody else not knowing how to camp but remember there are people out there that have never camped and they are asking questions in Google and they want to find out what to do um, how many people eight million people have searched what to do when it's raining and you're camping and then the first article here is um, 10 different things you can 12 tips for camping in the rain um, so how does that work for you what I would do is take this article read it get some ideas I wouldn't take all 12 ideas I might take five of them and I would make a YouTube video that says five things you can do 
in when camping in the rain come come up with a shorter <laughs> title than that but five, i come up with five things that you could do um when you're camping and it's raining now you might say well how, what's that have to do with affiliates well people are looking for it and you can just i haven't even read this article but just look at this picture that people cannot sit in their camp uh, their tent maybe they want to be outside so it looks like they have a great big giant piece of tarp over them and they can still have a bonfire they can still cook outside and still camp but they made themselves a temporary shelter out of that piece of tarp you can find a really nice durable tarp that would work to help people when they're camping and put that in the products underneath some links to that would be your affiliate links that you're making some money on um you could also have some games in there and i'm just looking at some of their items um power so that's when you can start talking about lanterns maybe somebody maybe it's too wet and they can't start a fire maybe they didn't get it started in time you can you know push the lantern so just go you know think outside the box what are problems that people will have in my niche that I can solve and then I can just casually start talking about all those little products that they might need to solve that problem it, it you're not the, the neat thing about affiliate marketing is you're not selling anything you're just sharing and you're sincerely sharing I mean this is a great question if you you know if, if you don't know what to do you're going to look this up and you would be so thankful for that information and again these are some blog ideas as well now the next one I want to talk about number five this is a no-brainer but some people don't think about this but the more content that you put out the more money that you'll make and you say well why because a lot of times the content you're putting out is free you're not really selling but that content I can make a video on this you know five things you can do when you're camping and it's raining and then I can make a turn that same video into a blog and put it on my website and then I have an email marketing list I could also share that information that value that content in my email marketing list and I've just used one piece of content three different places real fast I could also share it on my Pinterest account I could share a little blurb of a tip um, on my Instagram I, I could put a picture of people camping what to do when it rains and you're camping and then I could share just two tips there and then people might they might keep looking at my Instagram account and going gosh you know she's always sharing some really good tips and then they go up to your profile and they go oh there's the website link I want to see what else they have and then that is what drives them to your website so remember the more content you have out there the more money you'll make and it makes you look more like more of an expert and more credible you think of it yourself if you go to um look at youtube videos are you everybody does it i do it myself i'm a small channel and i understand that this happens but when somebody searches for something if they see me with 2,000 subscribers up against somebody with 300,000, a lot of people are going to see that person with 300,000 subscribers that's been around longer more as more of an expert that's just how we operate does it mean they know more than i do i don't know that but the point is the more you have out there the more people can see your content the more you're going to look like an expert and it'll give you more credibility and it takes time to build that up and that's okay um you need that time now this one is really oops just dropped my notes so i better remember this one is really important it's number six and it's audience intent what is your audience's intent when they search for what they're looking for okay we're still talking about people solving problems so these two things connect but what if I went on YouTube and I looked up cats on YouTube and see tons of people are searching for this look at this 134 million results people love cats people love dogs people love animals and they go to YouTube and they laugh I, I'll never forget it's probably been about eight years ago but my son-in-law he found a video about a cat singing Merry Christmas you probably remember it it's probably been longer than that but I remember he would not stop playing it over and over and over and he laughed and he laughed and he laughed there's the key what was he wanting to get out of that video entertainment right so what do you want people to get from your videos now underneath all of your content all that free stuff and everything you want them to buy something or to click one of your affiliate links I mean in the end that's what you want so when your 
people are searching for things. Remember, they have a different reason of why they're searching for it. Like here, what is the best camping tent? Those people who are asking that question, those 5 million people really want to know which tent is the best. You have you can make a whole playlist on this or a whole blog series on this about very different tents. You could do a review on each one and then you can start comparing them in other blogs. Now, you know, just keep thinking, what are people looking for? What do they want? So think of the audience's intent. Yes, you can be funny if, if you're a funny person and you'd like to make people laugh. Um, but you're seriously trying to do a review, you can get away with that because that's part of your personality. So, you know, that's just part of who you are. But don't force yourself to be funny and entertaining on a question like this when that's not who you are, when you're really trying to do a review. There's nothing wrong with being serious, okay? You don't have to be funny. So just just remember that when you're, you're looking for um, what the things are that people are looking for. That's really the, the bottom line, the bonus here. That's your six tips, but you are here to solve people's problems. You're here to help them find products that are the best, um, maybe software tools, um, courses, all kinds of things, but make sure people are looking for it before you go through the trouble of creating the content, okay? The content isn't about you. Maybe you love a certain kind of tent, but it's really got bad reviews. Don't try to share that with people if it's not a good product. Maybe go, it's, you're not lying if you go out and say, well, this one's really the best. And, and you don't have to say I'm not using it, or, or you don't have to lie and say you are using it. It. Just say, I've done some research and these are the pros and cons and this is, you know, the reviews and blah, 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 blah. This is what it does. And boom, you have the link below. So get out there. Just, um, you keep getting better at this as an affiliate marketer. It's fun. It's um, fun to, to get better and find more angles and ways to figure out what people want. Um, I kept you long enough. I didn't mean to keep you this long, but don't forget, give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I am out of here. See you on the next video.